Hello students, welcome to Sarasar classes over here. The kinetic energy of the photoelectrons ejected from a metal on irradiation with light of frequency 3.8 hertz, 3.8 into 10 to the power 16 hertz is k. Okay, so we have one equation in which we will say mu 1 h nu naught kinetic energy is k. Okay, so this is one equation we have. When irradiated with frequency this one, the kinetic energy they are saying is k by 2. Okay, so again we will say when irradiated with the frequency say mu 2, so we are calling this to be as mu 1 and we are calling this to be as mu 2. Okay. that is what we have done all right that is what we have done over here so this is our mu 2 this is mu 1 and as i said this is our mu 2 so what is going to happen now we will say again same equation mu naught by k by 2 or we can say if we rearrange the equation, we will say 2 this 2 into this plus k. So this is my equation 3. Now what I am going to do over here is subtract. Okay, because in this sum they have said what is the threshold frequency. Okay, sum is asking what is the threshold frequency of their mat that means give us this value that is what they are asking so what i will say over here now is let us subtract what we will subtract subtract equation 1 from 3 so if we subtract equation 1 from 3 we will have h nu 2 minus h nu 1 all right which will be equal to k will get cancelled we will say h nu naught that is what we will get 2 h nu 2 minus h nu 1 equal to h or we will say 2 new 2 new 1 new not after removing the h all right so we have subtracted 1 from equation 3 okay that is what we have done so far now if you find out new you will say let me keep 10 to the power minus plus 16 aside. Okay. Now what is 2 into 2.4? It will be 4.8. Because this is my new 2. Minus what it will be? 3.8. Which is my what? New 1. Then what I can say? See. This is how you can calculate easily. This will be my answer for the threshold frequency. So what is that? This is this. Answer D is going to be the option. Heat of neutralization for a reaction is this. Heat of neutralization saying. Okay. That means it is basically a reaction of an acid and base. Acid and base. This is the OH that reacts with the H plus because of which we are getting this huge amount of energy liberated so it is asking which of the following process is mainly responsible for the heat release? obviously it has to be the reaction of the proton with the oh minus that is releasing this huge amount of energy and that should be our answer okay next question they are saying at 25 degree centigrade the standard reduction potential 
for the half cell is they have given us this okay what is the standard reduction potential of the half cell when the concentration of h plus is this assuming this is important part the unit concentration of all other species okay universal gas constant is given like this faraday is given like that so from our nernst equation we will say e cell is e not cell minus 0.0591 by n log we will say q okay now how am i getting this 0.0591 okay let me let me write it completely it is 2.303 rt n log to the base 10 q what is my q out here what is the reaction the reaction was basically zinc plus 2h plus isn't it that is forming zn2 plus nh2 all other is unit concentration okay this is solid okay this is aqueous this is also aqueous and they are saying consider this to be as one molar okay this is a gas for all gas or solid it is always taken to be one so my q out here is what my q let me write it separately i will say therefore my therefore my q is what it is basically concentration of zn2 plus h2 by what we will say zn activity into h plus square i simply put it in this equation now this is one that is one that is one only this is 10 molar okay so what is the equation now e cell will be equal to e not cell what is the e not cell e not cell is given this 0.28 okay 2.303 rt by n z going to this this is basically a two electron uh, oxidation so n out here is my 2 this is going to that also is two electron reduction so also we will say n my n equal to 2 log of we will say 1 by h plus square okay what i can do out here more is yeah let me just increase the page length yeah so out here i will say e cell will be what 0.28 this whole unit okay let me write it 2.303 into 8.314 into we are having over here temperature 25 so it is 298 kelvin and this is nf basically i have missed that nf so this is basically 2 by 96500 all right log of i can write this now as in terms of plus h plus square okay i can bring this two out here okay so i will say this is again into Okay, let me write it fresh. E cell 0.28 plus 2.3038 into 298 into 2 by 2 by 96500 log 10. Log 10 is obviously 1. And if you do the math out here, you will find that the answer is coming out to be 0.339 voltage. Okay.
again question out here is in a cubic closed pack structure containing x y z z occupies the face centers x occupies all the corners and y occupies the body center what is the formula so how will we do it first draw a cube as simple join the lines for the edges according to some let me call z blue so it is top bottom left side right side behind face and front face and each of them is contributing because of face center it is half it is half contribution how many of them six of them so what will be the formula unit over here it is going to be three so z is going to be my three okay now where is x x they are saying occupies all corners money these ones what is the contribution of this one it is 1 by 8 how many of them are there 8 so basically it is 1 and at last they are saying y is in the middle that is in the body center over here what is this contribution 1 so what will be the formula x we will say is 1 y we will say is 1 but z is 3 so if you remove the one out here what is the formula coming out to be x y z 3 so this is going to be our answer thanks for listening i hope you liked all the solutions okay keep visiting sarasa classes for further solutions of competitive exams okay thank you and have a great day